Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to our weekly, well, twice weekly, I should say, uh, mm -hmm. developer playtest. Uh, I, I always, always get confused. Is bi-weekly twice a week or once every two weeks? I thought bi-weekly was once every two weeks. So twice weekly would be two okay. times a week. Because I always get confused with like bi-monthly and bi-weekly. Right. Bi-annually. Yeah. Uh, is that twice a year? I think, I think semi-annually is twice a year. Or multiple times a year. I'm not sure. Someone's going to explain it to us. Oh, my gosh. It's been a very... It's been a long time since we've been on stream. <laughs> I know. How, what do I do with my hands? What do I do? Uh, uh, do no, 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 so confusing. Uh, so, hi, everybody. My name's Andy Belford. I'm the community manager here at Waystone Games. I'm uh, Pluto. <laughs> I'm I'm Brad Pluto Ramey. I'm an assistant community manager here at Waystone Games. <laughs> and thank you very much for tuning in uh, to our twice a week uh, developer playtest of Dawngate, uh, the all new mode being developed by us, Waystone Games. Uh, today, uh, we're just going to be playing the game for a little while and probably answering some questions whilst uh, we play the game. And uh, who knows, maybe we'll give out some beta keys here in just a little bit. Uh, but uh, it's, been a, it's been a while, like I said. We, we last streamed, what, before... Uh, the Wednesday before 4th of July. The Wednesday before 4th of July, yeah. yeah. It was an impromptu developer playtest stream. It was, it was. We decided to, to throw it up since we figured, uh, you know, hey, uh, you guys wouldn't be able to see the game for a while. But, uh, but hey, uh, we are super excited because this weekend is a very, is a very special uh, milestone for us um, here at Waystone Games. Uh, well, there's a couple of great great milestones one of which uh, hopefully you'll learn about later in this week but Ooh, at I least like a teaser i know right oh man <laughs> just dropping it subtly yeah. uh but the uh the the first one that everybody knows about the big one that everybody knows about is um actually uh the expansion of the beta test windows we're going to be expanding it to two, di two days of testing so it's uh friday from 12 p.m to 9 p.m pacific and then on s again on Saturday from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. Pacific. Yeah, the the uh, the question we've been getting a lot is it is it going to be 24 hours uptime? Is it going to be Friday and Saturday? No, it's two separate nine-hour windows. Yep. So it'll be it'll come on at a certain time on Friday and go off at a certain time on Friday. That's Same right. Same thing on Saturday. So yeah. there's no overnight testing. There's no nothing like that. So. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, you know, we're we're, we're going to get there, guys. We're going to get there. Uh, hopefully sooner rather than later. But you know, we can't we can't uh, put us we can't draw a line in the sand on that just yet. Uh, so we are waiting for one more person uh, to one get into the scumbag. game. One more scumbag. I think it's Mars, actually. Mars is visiting. He's actually, we're going to have he's Mars. There, he's at his desk. Oh, is he at his desk? Yeah. Maybe it's not, maybe it's not Mars. Nerd. I'm not sure. We're actually going to have a uh, Mars stopping by uh, to uh, stream the game on Thursday with us. So okay. that should be loads of fun. Uh, so chat, how you guys doing? Uh, can I ask why? My body is Reggie. Your body so is Reggie? My, my body is Reggie. I'm not sure. What do you think Reggie would think of that? I, I don't know. I mean, being... Reginald. Good Regin old Andy Din. I don't know. I don't Andy know. Din. Another, another, another person with that fine Pulsating. That's a word that you don't hear often, like, just in general day-to-day. -day. Uh, you know, pulsating is pulsating. one of those... It's one of those words. It's kind of like moist. Ugh. Moist. Ugh. That word, moist. That's not very good. What? That's just not a good word. It's just not. But it conveys so much just in that one syllable. I mean, you're right, but moist. Mm, moist. <laughs> you, you even make this weird face when you say it too. You look at me, and you're like moist. You have to. You have to. I it's like so. it, it, it gives you that. It's like that almost kind of heebie-jeebie look. Gushing. Gushing. Said gushing. Gushing. There's another good one. So pulsating, throbbing, gushing, and moist. Yes, has been the words of the day. Brought to you by, by Waystone Games. Brought to you by Don Gates <laughs> and Monster Energy Drinks, according to Waystone Devs. <laughs> Anyways, wait. No, I'm sorry. Oh, is that actually? Is that a? Uh, is that actually Lauren Hetty? Waystone McKella. That is, yes. That word is so great. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren. Thank oh, you. Oh, I'm not saying the word's not gross. I'm just saying it's very descriptive. Can we, can we give the, give her a... Does she not have mod? Like, I'm going to do this. You can give her I a got mod. you. I got you, Lauren. There we go. You're modded. Now give it she's a second modded. for your green lightning bolt. Now she's you. modded. So what did everybody do? Uh, what did you do over the weekend, sir, without the <sighs> without, without Dawn Gate being on Friday? I, uh, I laid down the fetal position... Tried not to cry. Right. Cried a lot. But once you <laughs> finished, that was, that was the thing. Once you exhausted your body of all of the tears, of all my fluids, of all your fluids. of all my gushing I, fluids. Another wow, um, wow. I Were decided to watch. They're so moist. <laughs> I decided to watch a. Bu I watched a bunch of movies. Watch a bunch of movies. Yeah, that's like that's like my go-to thing. With when I'm bored, I usually just like. Oh, watch a movie on Netflix. Or just turn something. on the Netflix. Just, just turn on the Netflix. Netflix has this new like a uh, little feature going on too. They, they What's got, that? It's like uh, you answer a couple of questions and it suggests movies. It's oh, kind of it? like a, it's kind of like a, 
I don't know. It's like this very suave announcer voice thing kind of going on. I haven't seen that. It's a very friendly app. They what already they for? already pretty much know what I like. They just recommend uh, mysteries, thrillers, and and Asian movies. That's, those are those are my three favorite things. Like uh, Chinese uh, fantasy. Oh, is it? Uh, are, do we finally have? Do game. we finally have a full ten? All right, so here we go. Stream, it's time. It is time to play the game. So I'm going to go ahead and press that button. I'm going to scooch on over here. Okay. You might want to check your I will scooch up. Oh, no. I cannot They're going to start the game like before I... It looks like I'm okay. I need Whoa. To... I don't know if this <laughs> screen should have carried over. Not, but okay. Um, I'm going to play Hunter Moya. You're going to play Hunter Moya today? Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. I have Echo over here. Mute. Mute the sound. Alrighty. Think about this whole shindig. Let's see, you what do I want to use? I am going to use the. Uh, Formas Formacid is asking, why did we buff Moya? Uh, I have no clue. I have no idea either. To be no honest idea. with you, uh, like I'm not, and we're not designers, no. uh, so it's definitely not. Bingo. Uh, that's definitely not. <laughs> Well, that's definitely not a question that we can answer, but I'll tell you what, uh, tomorrow, I'm not sure who we're going to have on the stream, actually, but we'll have somebody on the stream uh, to talk about stuff, and uh, if it's a designer, that would be a great chance to ask it during the community catch-up. I just remember whenever I was, because uh, I'm responsible with like doing the rough draft of the patch notes, and whenever I saw the Moya buff, um, I was just like, wow, that's crazy. Because yeah. she's already super strong, and I've actually been playing a lot of her, and she's yes, you have. She's super fun. No, super fun. Yeah, you have been playing a lot of. I Moya. think you might be jaded because I actually went against Andy mm -hmm. in a uh, in kind of a head to head jungle thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, in one of our matches where he was playing jungle Kel and I was playing jungle Moya, mm. and I absolutely decimated. Him. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh no, no, it's okay that you could you know clear out your camp like 10 times faster than me and then my, all of my stuff too but part of that probably has to do with the fact that you're a better player than me overall but still yes Moya sure. is very strong right now I'm sure that the developers are paying close attention to her numbers and everything though I mean she is strong but she also has one of the highest skill caps as well so uh, I would she say does have a high skill cap like if you miss if you're if you're not good with her ulti mm -hmm. You're gonna have a bad time. Yeah, like absolutely. her ulti is so important. Being able to hit it, knowing the kind of the distance of it as well, is super important because mm -hmm. if you can catch people at the very edge of it, um, you can get take them by surprise. You know, completely the ruin their life. Yes. And uh, right. but if you don't, like if you if you uh, undershoot it or something, mm -hmm. then guess what? You just wasted like you know 140 second cooldown for absolutely nothing. There's yeah. no there's no like kind of. Um, there's no good thing about missing her ulti. It's not like it gives you like some kind of a passive that lets you do anything else. It's just, guess what? You whiffed it, you stink. See you later. And that is very unfortunate. Trudge, trudge. Playing your favorite Shaper Moya. This is just for you. Just, just, for, just for you. Just for them, yes. Just for you, Formacid. Okay. Okay. So how do we, how does the giveaway extension work? Actually, you guys don't have to download the extension. We use that ourselves when we're giving away key, keys randomly. So do not worry about it. Do not worry about it. So it does look like you're going up against a Buell. Buell. Mm -hmm. Buell. Buell. Uh, you should be okay with V-Sync on, uh, on, on my computer. I've never had an issue with it. Hopefully. 30 seconds until Turn off just spawn. Case. Okay. Let's just start. to be safe. Blood. Just to be safe? Yeah. Okay. I like to be safe. Better right. safe than sorry. Alrighty. So you're going up against a Buell, which is very strange because Buell usually doesn't play Hunter. No. But it, last, last, last developer playtest yesterday, he played Moya, mm -hmm. and we all had a bad time. And I was playing Jungle Petrus, and being Moya, he just out, out jungled me. Out jungled you? Yeah. Out jangled you? Mm-hmm. Mm, okay. 100%. Alrighty. Maybe super sad. But we have Dale playing I mean, Lane Petrus. This actually should be interesting. So is he a tactician Petrus? Tactician Petrus. Alrighty. So remember... Easy for me to say. Uh, so I, I do have words. I'm not sure that I can use them, actually, though. So remember that as a tactician, uh, Dale on that Petrus there will be getting a bonus Vim, which is our form of gold or currency, if you had to do an analog for another game, uh, for, uh, for harassing um, his enemies in lane. So you're looking at, like, uh, basically any time he hits either with a, an auto attack or an ability, he gets bonus fem. And also he gets bonus fem for being in lane uh, when a creep dies, uh, being in the vicinity of a creep dying. Mm -hmm. Now Pluto's playing a hunter, which is uh, basically one of our jungling roles, uh, and he gets uh, 
bonus damage versus jungle creep, uh, as well as getting uh, life return, uh, a percentage life return when a jungle creep dies. Uh, and then he also has a passive 20% chance to get bonus vim when killing a jungle creature. Mm -hmm. And that gives a little bit of late game viability there. It's actually already, I've, my RNG has been with me today. It's it has, like I've noticed. Twice already, which is, uh, which is really awesome. It is very nice, actually. Happy about this gives you that extra little, I mean, little, little 20, 20 bonus here and there. <laughs> I'm not going to complain nice. about that. It's very she's nice to have. She's fast. Yep. <laughs> so fast. She's, uh, she's not slow. Yep. Yeah, uh, hopefully these A40 tags will be uh, available at a future date. I'm not sure... Not sure when that is. Uh, you know, we're still a ways off. This was kind of a, a special favor to us uh, from the fine folks from, from the fine folks over at Astro. So here's a question for you, actually. Um, you, I noticed you did not actually uh, you didn't ward the, the 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 brush there. Is there a reason you decided to go with that instead of the brush? Because if I'm paying attention, I think it's uh, in my opinion more valuable to know like when he's coming around this bin than if he's actually in that brush because. If, you know, like doing these money pigs right here, like if he's in that brush, he's only going to be in there for a second because he's going to come get me at the money pig. So having vision of him entering the brush is more valuable, in my opinion, than having him when he's in the brush. Okay. If that makes sense. It does. Because he's only going to spend a small amount of time walking through this brush to get here. Mm -hmm. I would rather see him coming from further away uh, so I can react, you know, kind of accordingly. Okay. Uh... So, generally speaking, we give away keys randomly, although today I think we might do a multi-use key. It looks like our viewer number, our viewer count is climbing. So, uh, let's just say, what's, what's the teams? Let me see how evenly matched these teams are. You never know since Buell does the, the teams. Mm -hmm. It's Gasty, Cryf, Vex. You have Zyrule on your team? Mm -hmm. Who's a big feeder? He is a big feeder. Huge feeder. Large um, oh, you got countered. Well, uh, how about if you guys win? We'll do a 200 juice multi. Uh, 200 juice multi key. How's okay. that sound? I'm okay with this. Are you okay with that? Yeah. What was the audience thing? Does that sound good? If uh, if Pluto's team here wins the game, we'll do a 200 juice multi key. Why I gotta walk all over? Sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There we go. We have we have people saying yes. This sounds like a good idea. I feel like we you could have probably said anything about a, a multi use key and they would have said yes. I probably would have yes. As soon as I kill this, this camp, a 200 use multi key. What? No! Oh no! Enemy <laughs> double kill. Sorry. All right. I didn't mean to blow your mind. <laughs> Chumper, how about if they finish the game? <laughs> Ooh, I like I like that guy. <laughs> He's got the right idea. Alrighty. No, we don't post the key in chat. So here, here's how it works, folks. Uh, we're gonna do a 200 use multi key. Um, if uh, if Pluto's team wins, uh, and what we will, and I'll, I'll I'll randomly give out some keys during the during the stream as well. Uh, in order to get one of the random keys, you do need to be following the channel. So please press that follow button uh, there uh, below the video f video feed. Um, but uh, what happens with the 200 use multi key is I put it up on the screen so everybody has a fair chance of seeing it and getting to it. Mm -hmm. And uh, then you end you redeem it at wasteongames.com and we'll post a link to that in the chat uh, after the game. Um, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much how it works. So let's see here. So it looks like Zyrul's playing tech. T no, Carrie's Airy. Uh, I can't even tell you. Let's see. Playing tactician's area. Tactician's area, okay. So we have you have three three tacticians on your team, is that right? Two. Two Oh, two tacticians. Oh, that be old. he's I think that was like uh Well you can I, thank I my team to help me with this. Thank them for the gift wrapped uh, parasite there, right? Got it. Spanks guys. Spanks indeed. Oh is the ult in the future? It is. It is in the future. I blinked away. He did blink. That was a well time blink. Uh, it's. I mean, it's. It's a 140 second cooldown for a, for like a five minute cooldown. So mm -hmm. I definitely am fine with that trade. Yeah. Considering, like I said, blink is on. What is the exact cooldown of blink? It's a 300 and 300 second, second cooldown. So second five minute cooldown. Yeah. For a 140 second cooldown. Yeah. Completely fine by me. Totally worth. Worth. Yes. Totally <laughs> I should have worth. typed in chat worth. Yes. Because <laughs> then he would have known that I'm in business. Exactly. <laughs> that that is when you when you say things like that. Mm -hmm. That proves that you are serious. But I mean, that was that was a valiant attempt by them to take that parasite kind of without mm -hmm. us knowing. Um, but as you saw, we came in at pretty much the exact right time. We got parasite. We picked up a kill. So that was a, that was a really good turn. Yep. For our team, I'm gonna get pride here. 
Pull potions to go back into my jungle. Uh, so A firm five six five. You know, I can understand how you would see uh, this game at first glance and be like, "Oh, it looks like League of Legends or X MOBA." Uh, the thing is, is that MOBA is a genre, uh, and we firmly believe that here at Waystone. And uh, you know, as such, you know, you're definitely going to see some familiarities between this and other MOBA games that have come before it. Uh, the difference lies in the gameplay. Uh, so I encourage you to sign up for the beta. Yeah. You know, try and get a key today. Play the game first before try making an opinion. Uh, don't don't just uh, take a look at it and form your opinion right there. Uh, play the game first. Uh, see how you like it. Uh, you may find yourself surprised. You know, we're not trying to replace other games. We're just trying to make a contribution in the genre. And if folks want to play our game, then you know that's awesome. We just want to make it a fun game. That's really our main goal. Yeah, and you know, we every without. With each iteration of, of any kind of genre, there's always going to be little little changes, little nuances, yep. and I think our biggest contribution is the role system. Like I love yeah. I love the role system. I, I think yeah, it's really cool. You can point at a lot of different things. I think the role system is a really good point, Brad. Uh, it's one of those things that's really uh, distinctive about about Dawngate. Um, another thing that's actually really I find to be very refreshing and distinctive is uh, uh, kind of actually our map layout and design. Our jungle is very 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 uh, big compared to other slain. other MOBAs, I would say, in my personal opinion. Uh, I also love the inclusion of the Spirit Wells. It adds a completely different strategic oh, dynamic to the game. Um, gives you a, a whole new thing to fight, uh, fight over. And Zyrul just got a double kill wow, what a beast. on Zeri. On Tactician Zeri. On Tactician Zeri. That's good. Way to go. Baited. Baited, exactly. Of course, you know, you don't actually have to type slash game. You can also type shift enter. That's true. That's true. also true. Yep. Is under attack. It's, it, I'm still used to just like, because there was a time when we didn't have that functionality. I know. You know, so like, it's funny to see things that people sometimes, you know, take for granted. Absolutely. As far as some stuff in the game is concerned, when like, mm -hmm. sometimes we just didn't have that. You know, yep. sometimes that just didn't exist. It just takes time to code. That's mm -hmm. all. Um... Uh, and I'm uh, a firm. I'm glad you like the the graphic style of the game. Where we are definitely a very different, gra different, different looking art style. Uh, we're more inspired by uh, kind of a Hayao Miyazaki Studio Ghibli style uh, art style. So you may notice some of that kind of uh, fantasy, uh, Asian fantasy, Eastern fantasy type type look to it. So it is very, it is very different, and, uh, and to me at least, it, it stands apart as very unique uh, uh, compared to what's out there right now. Uh, yeah, I love it. I think the art style is fantastic. But again, you know, maybe I'm biased. Uh, I may be Reptar. How do you feel being compared to League? That great, awesome. Uh, you know, League is uh, what the, the you know the the most played game on the planet according to some statistics. So I personally don't have a problem with that. Uh, I think we're very distinctive and we stand out. And you just owned him. Mm -hmm. Melted. I out Moya'd him. You did out Moya. <laughs> I outboy it. That was some otter to otter uh, violence there. Mm -hmm. Otter on otter violence. So let me go ahead and pick up my glory. Pick up. Uh, I like to get. I like to get a control, uh, just because it's it's a slow. So like you already have amazing like sticking power, but mm -hmm. when you get an inevitability, it it allows it it kind of affords your teammates to. Um, I don't want to say, to kind of have the same kind of sticking power as you do. Yeah. If that makes sense. Because, like, you may have, you have such high mobility between your Q and your ultimate, sometimes you get in those situations where you put yourself too far out there and your teammates can't catch up, but if you have a way to slow the enemy uh, with inevitability, then mm -hmm. your, your, your enemy, t your, your friendly team, what I'm trying to say here, um, Word, sir. has the same kind of catch potential. Well, and also, you know, just having that extra slow allows you to maybe make that uh, decision to go with a more damage-centric instead of a, a, a mobility-centric, uh, you know, uh, activation. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it opens up more options for you. So, I mean, you know, while maybe having a slow on a, a shaper like Moya, it could be considered redundant. I, I think it just gives you better options. Especially with Amelie for not helping. You should totally uh, just tell him no ganks for the rest of the game. Yeah. Screw Scott, forget him. Exactly. That's I will SC. This SC stands for Southern California. Big feeder. Real scumbag. Real scumbag. Actually, I think it does say it stands for uh, scumbag with an emphasis on the SC. I could see that. Indeed. 
Uh, Zerothian, uh, can you explain some of the differences? So, uh, just to kind of go at a very high level about the roll system, what the roll system is, is basically it is something that you select at the beginning of a match, uh, in addition to your shaper, which is what we call our heroes or champions or our characters, basically. Um, and it helps to define how you earn income in, in the game. So, for example, Brad right now is playing a hunter. Uh, and for a hunter, like I said earlier, he gets uh, bonus Vim, which is our, our analog to gold or currency or whatever, um, for uh, killing, uh, killing jungle creeps. Uh, he also... Nice. So he missed his ulti, which he did. Uh, allowed me to... Like yeah. that—that's that, one thing you gotta learn, you know. And it, it comes—it comes with playing. Like Moya's dash and her ulti look similar in effect because they both kind of, you know, mm -hmm. move her to a certain location. But the ulti has this kind of cool lightning effect to it. Yep. So you know when she burns that, that right. oh god, that it can be go time. Oh, yeah. Scott, don't feed, please. He's—he's he's taking them tower hits, tanking it like a boss. Yeah. I tell you. So, anyways, I mean, you know. The overall, the goal of the role system, though, is to reward you for your style of play rather than for the character that you play. So it helps, helps to it opens up the meta to a little bit being a little more flexible as well. We found uh, so you'll see things like ranged characters that would traditionally be ranged carries and have no viability in, say, something like a jungle or something like that, uh, actually have viability. You know, um, obviously some characters are more suited for certain mm -hmm. for certain roles, um, but. There's no hard and fast rule that says you have to play X character X way, um, you know. And we are, you know, one of the things that you know we are working on also is, uh, you know, balance and things like that. Your, oh, I was gonna say your inevitability you could probably get now, but yeah, I mean, I would have, but like I, I also uh, Scott's doing really well, so I don't really need, and he has a built-in slow as well, so I don't really need a lot of damage right now. I'm gonna go That's for true. a more super tanky route and get actually, I'm gonna do this because because I'm I'm real YOLO. Uh, Get another discipline. discipline. Get, get a, a double build, double discipline. Building towards uh, equilibrium I, and subjugation. Equilibrium. I love going equilibrium and subjugation because it's a good combo. The, the thing about them is these two items are absolutely incredible, and a lot of people get subjugation and they overlook equilibrium. Yep. But I'm of the mindset of why not have both? Why not have you know, both? Why not? Like it's it's really good. They're both really good items. Um, just to explain what they do, dealing damage reduces all of target's damage by 15%. That is subjugation. So that's the thing a lot of people go for. Yeah. Equilibrium. Dealing damage will slow the target's attack speed by 30%. Yeah, and that's less important, you know, for the casters, for the, you know, the burst kind of mages. But if you have both, people just, like, no one, regardless of who you hit, is really going to be doing anything, you know? And I think exactly. that's the important part. And for a shaper like Moya, that's actually super, uh, super key because, you know, your job is basically to go in, to, to go deep, <laughs> to go deep, uh, and to, uh, to, to basically either isolate or just burn down uh, their the enemy range carries I mean that's one of your one of your kind of duties so we we see where Richard is he's around this binding he's waiting for it to fall and we really need hunter to uh to, like wave clear this like we we don't want them to be able to take this binding because as soon as they take this binding if we're still around it so I'm gonna take this uh, this creep wave just a little bit so they can't get free damage on the binding because if they took this down uh, then that's the chance for their otter to come in clean this fight up. Zyroy, congratulations. You just won a beta key. Uh, check your PM inbox slain. here on Twitch. Remember, you do need to be following the channel if you want to win a beta key. <laughs> <laughs> All planned and calculated. Will Dongate have Oceana slash Asian servers? Uh, you know, that's one of those things eventually down the road. Sure. Uh, especially if there's enough demand for it. Um, but right now we are... Oh, I think he saw you come in there. Uh, right now we are... Currently did not matter. <laughs> uh, oh, get okay. away! Good. Good, barrier. Good barrier. Good barrier there. Uh, right now we are very early in the game's development process. We're in super early beta still. Uh, so a lot of those things, uh, you know, kind of like... Localized servers, uh, localized game file, game t game client actually, in, in other languages even, um, uh, are still kind of in the works or you know, way so far out right now that we 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 can't really even like put a estimate to it, you know. So, I need more gold. Yeah. I love gold. I love gold. Indeed. <laughs> so I'm gonna go get some. Uh, is the game up? No, it's not up yet. So, uh, Friday. Friday and Saturday, actually. 
Uh, I did see somebody say ask a question about you know what are we going to do to contract to con to contract to to attract uh, the competitive players. You know, uh, the the first thing the first and, and main thing we're going to do is make the game fun. <laughs> it's kind yeah. of like we have to. Like the game has to be fun. You you can do all you want. You can throw as much money as you want at things. It doesn't matter what you do. If the game isn't fun, people aren't going to play it. So that's our like primary like. 100% positive, number one priority right mm -hmm. now is to make the game fun. Uh, after that, you know, let's see what the community wants. If the community wants esports and competition and stuff like that, you know, we'll be here to support that. Um, we're gonna make we're gonna make the game with with you guys, with the players. That's our goal. So, look like he had some company there. Oh yeah, there he is. Little Mayul. He's gonna try and get away. Oh oh, slippery otter. Such a slippery otter. Nice ult. Well done, sir. Gonna oh, he oh, oh my away. goodness. What a nerd. Where's the flips? No flips, David. Are we diving this? You better you believe better it. better believe it. You better believe it. The dives. Not never really a big, big deal. Oh, yeah, no, no. You're, you're not going to. I don't know. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's so slippery. It's so it's slippery. So slippery. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have ulti. Oh, God. <laughs> That's slippery. So slippery. Uh, so we were talking about some of the things that. Uh, Too thank you for you, bro. Stand. <laughs> Too thank you for you, bro. What's uh, going on? Evidently, you're a otter with a uh, a New York accent, a Brooklyn yes. accent. <laughs> oh, oh, he slipped. No. Me. Oh you God, me. slip. Can you slip away? Can you slip away? Nope. No, it's no, okay. It's all right. It'll be okay. You got this, Scott. Run, Scott. You got this. Run, Scott. Huh. So yes, definitely. No, he's dead. Oh wow! Why oh. didn't you move? Why didn't you move perpendicular? <laughs> he's got a line shot. You know this. <laughs> I was texting death recap. Okay, all right. Did it? Did it pass test? Working good. Good to know. Outstanding. Good okay, to know. Great. Your spirit well is under Damn. This is an even, pretty even game. We're 14 to 14. We've got uh, three spirit wells. Although that's about to be even to two and two. Um, but yeah, we that was you know just 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 for the the haters out there, we shouldn't have dove Moya, but we did for fun. No, like a hundred percent. You know, like she's so slippery, and you know it's kind of awkward because like a Moya chasing a Moya is is just really awkward because like you're just never gonna catch her unless you have like more time, a more haste because then you have a little bit uh, more CDR and you can you can dash. Um, more than her, but I don't really. So yeah, because you're building more tankery. Yeah, that is true. tankery. Did you say tankery? Uh, you said tanky. I said tankery. Okay, my mad is a tankery. I like tankery. That's my mad is a tankery. Tankery. Yeah, that's, get out of here, Scott. That's that's a that's a brand of gin, isn't it? Oh, look at this! This, this dude look loves at this. the parasite. Look at this! What is this Bayul like soloing the parasite? Loves it. Uh, is that a stage three? That is a stage your three parasite. Even he's trying to solo. He's he's uh, definitely going man mode. Of course, this is the same guy who told me to go man mode last night when there was a uh, when there was a skunk in my in my garage. He was like, "Go man mode, just go up, go up and kill it with what your could, bare hands." What could possibly <laughs> happen? <laughs> nothing. Nothing. Nothing bad honest. would ever happen. Uh, so somebody asked, "What do spirit wells do?" And so that is actually one of the unique features of Dawn Gate. So spirit wells are basically like little economy nodes. They are uh, points on the map that uh, generate workers. And if your team owns the, these points on the map, these spirit wells, it generates additional bonus resources for you. Ooh. Oh, nicely done. Um, so basically, having spirit wells equals having uh, additional uh, bonus bonus currency, bonus bonus of M generating for you. You're probably gonna wipe these guys right now. They are low. Oh, if that's you good. Can it's hard, very hard to chase, chase a desecrator. It's super hard to take a we should chase a desecrator. Uh, yeah, desecrator is strong. It's it's almost yeah. impossible to chase him with his snares and his kind of line knock he, up. He's not like crazy damage, but let me no. tell you something. Oh, that utility. SCC, that utility. That CC is broken. It's insane. Somebody bug that? Yeah. Uh, although let's say you do get uh, you do manage to get an undesecrator like stacking your ult in the, into one spot and people are stuck there or oh, it's not are silly enough to stand there. It's like not fun. that damage adds up fast. Yeah, it does. Very very fast. That death fog. Uh, Pop Brew and Spring Roll Boy. Uh, very interesting opinion. Uh, I'd try playing the game first before you say anything. An enemy 
has been slain. I'm gonna wait. Uh, question: Is Parasite similar to Nasher or Urukai or? This I game is a copy of Wolfenstein. He found us out. It is. It is it's actually. Over. It is a copy of Wolfenstein. Actually, we're a copy of Pong. Yeah. Um, Pong. Really uh, late stage development. Pong. Very, very yeah. Um, because it's back and forth. Get it? Back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> nice kill. Nice kill. Yeah. Solid. Uh, so what is it? What was I saying? Something about. Uh, so I can't remember what I was talking about now. I got like four hours of sleep last night. Because <laughs> you were dealing with a skunk. So I was dealing with a skunk in my garage. There's a skunk in my garage. <laughs> or if you're if you're British, you, you're garage. You're gay raw. You're garage. You're garage. Someone go out to the garage and get this skunk out of you. I don't know what that is. Was it under the lorry? What's the lorry? Is that a car? Truck. Truck. Yes. Okay. I knew it was some kind of automobile. Your binding has been destroyed. Uh, you know, Killsign, you're absolutely right. We are much closer to Hello Kitty Online than anything. <laughs> um, that guy's funny. Although, if it was up to Gasty, it would actually be uh, My, Little, My Pony Little Pony Online. online. God, yeah. Gasty's My Little Pony Friendship is Magic Online. <laughs> My Little Pony Friendship is Magic 2, Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> oh, yes. Indeed. Have you considered changing your stance on a Ferris Shaper? I have no official stance on a Ferris Shaper, actually. I am, I am, oh, no, no. Scott, go. Scott, so greedy, so greedy, Scott. I was coming. <laughs> I was out dueling the carry. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, the magic word. <laughs> Is this a copy of Club Penguin? We are actually a copy of Club, Club Penguin. I just like everyone's, uh, like, just keep. Keep keep the <laughs> comparisons rolling in because this is funny. awesome. Actually, this is great. They're really funny. Uh, will you have a Hello Kitty and My Little Pony shaper? Um, if it's up to Gasty, <laughs> it's up to Gasty immediately. Immediately, yeah. First, first, the first Moya skin yes. will yes. turn into a My Little Pony. Could be kind of awesome, actually. Rainbow Dash. <laughs> is that one of them? That would actually, I think Rainbow Dash. Is oh, this is bad. We so. Oh, you are so boned. Am I? Maybe. Or no, am I out of here? Oh, so slippery. God, you guys stink. So slippery. Flip. Flip. Oh, flip. Yeah, he did. You did. You've done a bad thing. I can't really. It's a bad, bad thing. Oh, uh, uh, from the jungle comes the Mikella ult. Uh oh, Mule crashed. He'll be back in a second. Oh, well. Is our time to strike? Uh, do all shapers have the potential to carry with the gladiator roll? I think that all shapers have the potential to do it. Uh, it would be very difficult on some shapers, though. Mm -hmm. Like, I've seen, very successfully, actually, I've seen some successful uh, dibs, uh, dibs gladiators. Uh, Buell, actually, doing that. Uh, uh, no surprise there, right? Um, same thing with Zeri. I've seen successful Zeri gladiator. Uh, it, it's, you know, gladiator is a role that oh. basically... Oh, what a good E from him. That was really good. Um, gladiator is a role that enables you to, it rewards your playstyle, right? So if you are the kind of person who likes to just sit in lane and farm all day, get the, get those last hits and get the stacking last hits, and then basically be be the monster carry after farming, you know, two, three hundred CS or whatever, then, you know, Gladiator is the role for you. And if you can do that, uh, you have the potential to be able to do that with almost, almost any shaper, I think. Mm -hmm. Uh, actually, you know what, Dak? Dak and Jor, you're you're right. Maple Story cl clone, a hundred percent, a hundred percent. Um. Oh. <laughs> this game is exactly like Madden 2014. Range attacks just have different textures than the football. I was stunned <laughs> and silenced. So it's funny when uh, when the rumors first started going around that EA was making a MOBA. Uh, one, one, some of the some of the rumors were like you know oh they're making a Dead Space MOBA or uh, my personal favorite was oh they're making a Madden MOBA so you know, that would have been great. We would actually have Madden doing the uh, doing the voiceover the announcement and be like what we got here is a MOBA and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the one end of the base and we're gonna try and take a level of telestrators. And we have telestrators exactly. Yes. <laughs> we in a circle would be awesome. Perfect. <laughs> No. Uh, Mr. Goalie Brodo, we actually do have a harass, uh, a harass roll. That's a tactician. It rewards for poking. 
Um, every time you uh, you attack an enemy, either with an auto attack or an ability, you get bonus currency, bonus vim. So that is uh, that is already in the game. <sighs> Tactician is uh, actually one of the most pop uh, popular roles with the community right now. Not as far as like numbers wise, but it's like as far as like people talking about what they like. Uh, we see a lot of times that within the community that people love the tactician role because it rewards that play style uh, right away. Uh, how many of us used to work at Visceral? Uh, I think we have one person on the team who's former Visceral. Everybody else is uh, from all over the industry, everywhere from, you know, myself, I was at uh, NCSoft and I was at Mythic before. Uh, we have some folks who were at Riot, we have folks who were, you know, oh, he's down. Uh, we have folks who were, you know, at, uh, who worked, uh, worked at Maxis, we have people from all over the industry here, and a wealth, uh, a vast wealth of experience. Is there an option for donating? Thank you so much for the sentiment. Uh, no, we don't have, uh... We don't have an option for donating. Uh, we we're not taking any money for anything. We're not monetizing yet, uh, just because we're in such early beta right now. Uh, but don't worry, stick with us. You will have plenty of opportunities to, to give, give us money. Give money. Yes, <laughs> plenty of opportunities. Except in this case, you know, you won't be donating. You'll get something in return. Exactly. Yes. Which is the far superior option in your book. Yes, exactly. Not just free monies. Shut up and take my money. That's the idea. Will Eath, uh, Rayoni, what did I work on at Mythic? I worked on uh, Warhammer, uh, Dark Age Camelot, and I did a little bit of work for Ultima Online. Has captured a spirit well. You're binding. Uh, do we have a set, uh, a set uh, like cadence of, of Shaper releases? Not yet. I mean, we want to have a regular, uh, a regular cadence, right? Uh, which should make itself evident as we go along in the development cycle. But we know we're not trying to tie ourselves down to oh, you know, like clockwork once every two weeks. Uh, just because development needs sometimes change. So, even though... Uh, oh, the kills aren't anywhere equal. Never mind. I was going to say, it seemed like the game was going pretty evenly right now. Yeah, it's not quite in our favor, I would say. What uh, the hell? Does Gladiator work in the jungle? So I don't think you get the stacking, uh, the, the stacking bonus. Uh, from Jungle Creep. I think that it's only from Lane Minions, and that uh, Lane Minions and Striders, which are the big guys. Um, oh my god, they are so tanky. Get him! Got him! Got him! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Got it. Uh, so I am going to... Respect a spell because you can do that, spree. which is awesome. Yeah, it is true. Um, is I think I'm gonna give myself stasis. Why not? For so them, for them dives. Yeah. So for the 400 vim, you are able to respect one of your spells. So you're not stuck with spells throughout the entirety of the game. You do choose three at you know levels one, ten, and twenty. But um, if vanquish, obviously not really the most necessary spell right now, I can go ahead and retrain it to something more timely, which is one of my favorite features Useful. actually. Although it doesn't look like the game's going to last long enough to be useful. Probably not. Probably not. Ibs going full Fenmore as usual. This is very true. Ibs carries Fen hard on Fenmore, what can you say? Nice blink by Dibs there, though. Ah, <laughs> uh, bummer. Oh well. Uh, so, basically what we do after our playtest is we all we talk to each other and talk about how the game went, and that's kind of where some of our balancing ideas and stuff come. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, after this, I'm going to go tell uh, Dibs that Finmore shields are too short of a cooldown, and they're broken. Mm -hmm. So, that's that's one thing. Scooch on over, sir. Scooch on that over. That I'm going to try to do. Yes. <laughs> that's how balancing happens. That is, that is part, part of how balancing happens. And yes, mm -hmm. uh, Dibs did carry pretty hard on there, so that's quite all right, though. So, let me go ahead and I'm going to swap it over to this. No, they're not dips. Excuse me. Uh, wait, who 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 carried? No, no, Beal couldn't have carried. That's not possible. That's not possible. Maybe next time. Yeah. Dibs, dibs, super hard carry, super hard carry. You shouldn't. You shouldn't have said no. I didn't carry. You should have been like, of course I carried. Super, super hard. All right. So, anyways, uh, so.
it looked like a pretty active game. It looked like it was mm -hmm. fun. Uh, it, it, you know, unfortunately, it did, it, it did turn out against you. Turn against yeah. you, mostly because Zalgus is a huge feeder. Mostly. Uh, or, I'm not sorry. Not Zalgus. I'm sorry. Zyral SC. Not Zalgus. Zyral's a huge feeder. Zyral. Zalgus actually did did fairly well there. Uh, <laughs> he had decent CS and everything. Zyral SC. I was looking at the the scoreboard and I saw Zalgus first, but yeah, Zyral SC, huge feeder, seven and eleven. 7-Eleven, not just a convenience store anymore. Big also, feeder. also big feeder numbers. Good job, Tamler. I was seven and two. You were seven and two, and then you got nine ki nine deaths until you got super greedy and went and tried to take a spirit well by yourself against two people. But you know, I don't I, you don't remember that? I don't remember. Okay, selective memory. Selective. It is very selective, but that's okay. So, anyways, uh, yeah. So that's okay, though. You know, next time. You know, I think can't that we can't we can't hold uh, your guys' failures though against uh, the community against the community. Yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna give you guys that beta key anyways. Uh, so I thought I pressed F3. What happens? Why didn't it? Is it? Uh, oh, it's just taking forever on there. There's so much of a delay. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna load this key up. So uh, you wanna gonna wanna go to www.waystonegames.com uh, and register for an account if you haven't already. Go ahead and hurry up and do that while I go over while I'm going over here to the spreadsheet and pulling this up. We're gonna do a little 200 use key really quickly here. So what is today's date? Today is the ninth, ninth right? Seven nine. Wow. Seven nine. Craziness. You know what that means very soon though. Two days of beta. Yep. So uh, this Friday we're going to be streaming from 12 to 9 here in the here in the studio, uh, but be sure to tune in actually uh, next uh, uh, tune on Saturday as well. So Brad will be streaming for a few hours from home. I'll be streaming for a few hours from home, and of course we'll be in there playing Dawn Gate with you guys. Uh, uh, get a whole Saturday of Dawn Gate in addition to Friday should be lots and lots of fun. Um, uh, and moist, uh, moist. <laughs> moist. moist. Alrighty. I'm still seeing if lunch would be available. Uh, well, let's see here. We're gonna, we're gonna do some questions here in just a minute. So, let me see here. Let me get this and then put a beta key in here. All right, folks. So hopefully you've had a chance to go and uh, register for an account. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna put the beta key in the win in the uh, video stream here, and you guys are gonna have it's gonna be right up here. Really? Come on. Wait, wait. There we go. Right, right here. Right here. All right. Boop boop. <laughs> Wonder Twin. <laughs> Wonder Twin powers activate. Right. Form of steam. I, that would be like this, though. Not no, don't they put their rings together? Well, yeah. There it's we like go. That. All right. Okay. My okay. hand is so cold from sitting right here. It is. Here. It's, it's a, that that fan, dude. Yeah. It's uh. But you know what? It's better than being sweltering hot. Oh god, it was so hot last week. It was so warm. All right, guys. So here we go. Two hundred uses. First two hundred folks who use it uh, get to get to get in the beta. Uh, and it is uh, once you're in, you're in. So there's no like. You're in uh, for good. You're in for good. Who was behind us making faces? Was there somebody behind us? No. 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 Okay. Here we go. Ready? You guys ready for the beta key? Let me see if they're ready. No, not ready yet. Okay, cookie cutting pirate. Hurry up there. Just do it. Just do it. Yola. Somebody got an ad. Oh no, I don't want an ad. All right, question. Do we have a good 4th of July? Well, yeah, yeah, I had a good joke. We had a good 4th mm -hmm. of July. Played some Cards Against Humanity. Did some, so fun. some grilling. Love Cards Against Humanity. All right, guys. Here we go. In three, two, one. Beta key. Boom. Boom. Booyah. I'm gonna tickle it. Tickle, Anyways, that's a little creepy. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, yes. Yeah, so yeah, let's get the let's get the folks here. When will you wear a My Little Pony hat? Probably never. No. I'm not a I'm not I a brony. I won't sorry. let him. I'm not a brony, guys. Hey, it's gone. Not gone yet. Not a brony. All right, so got it, got it. Man, look at all the happy, yeah, yeehaw! Welcome to the beta. Outstanding, guys. Yay! Now, of course, remember that means that if you get the beta key, you have to be in the beta. You have to play, uh, preferably both days, but you have to play. That's the deal. You it's get this key, you someone, gotta play. Someone's complaining. It's one key between thirteen hundred people, but that one key has two hundred uses. It's actually two hundred keys between thirteen hundred yeah. people. So your your odds are actually much better than you might think. So it's okay. Thanks, bros. Hey, we call us bro. Fist bump. Fist bump. Boom. Boom. There we go. Type faster, bros. Welcome to Dawn Gate. Indeed. Oh, I actually got it. See? We got, we got a lot of people saying they got it. It's very exciting. 
A lot of people are in the beta who are watching the stream. That is true. We stream every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And Friday. And Friday. Well, Friday, right? Yeah. If, if the beta event if happens. If the beta event happens. You know, we can't put a stake in the sand on that yeah. uh, until usually the day before. Why would you put a, don't, put, don't put a stake in the sand. Line in the sand, whatever. You can put a stake uh, in the ground. I enjoy steaks. A steak. Like a vampire We're talking steak. about two different steaks. I know. I like steaks as well. I love I love me a good ribeye. A Ugh. good ribeye. You actually need so to go good. to, uh, you should go to Shab's down in Palo Alto. Is it the place you told me about the That's other the place day? That's good with, meats. With the Fred steak. It's an, it's an old-fashioned butcher. Like, it's an actual butcher. Yeah. And they I have love, good beets. I love good steak. Meats. I love Indeed. I love a ribeye. A lot of people, a lot of people don't, don't enjoy ribeyes, but I was raised... I was raised on medium rare ribeyes. Medium rare ribeyes are outstanding. If you like ribeyes, you should try Porterhouse. Porter, well, but a, isn't a porterhouse just a combination of a strip and a fillet? It is. So like, I want to. But you've got that. the but you've got the lifter there, and it's all that flavor. Mm, Man, maybe. it is so good. Maybe porterhouse. See, see, Caleb understands me. Neko Bus gets it. Caleb, get out of here. Porterhouse is the king of cuts, sir. Also, Caleb, do you know what time the cafeteria closes? Just wondered. 2.30. Just wondered. Is it 2.30? Because that means I have 10 minutes to get food, which is uh, very depressing. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go get food right now? You want me to get food? Go get food. You, need, you want to bring Scott Moore over here? Yeah, talk I guess Scott. Big feeder? Scott Moore. Get Scott Moore over here to talk about his big feeder. We can, we can answer some questions for about 10 minutes. I need to go see if... Will I sign your hat, Lightning Crisis? Sure thing. You can mail your hat here, and not only I will sign it, but the, the well, I'll get the entire team to sign it. How's that sound for you? I fed big. Hey, how you doing? So, Scott, what does it feel like to be a big feeder? Um, I was 7-2. For the record, uh, it was going looked like well. seven and eleven to me. It might have ended that way. Um, I think Pluto was playing distracted. I think that uh, really. I think that there was a play we made bottom where we killed Gasty. So what you're saying is blame the jungler? Is that what you're saying? Right oh, now? absolutely, blame okay. the jungler. Blame the jungler. Um, <laughs> no, we had a good pick off on Gasty <laughs> in the bottom right hand quadrant, uh -huh. and then. Uh, number one feeder and I were totally on the same page and we're like beeline straight to the spirit well because it was after the unlock period nobody had taken any spirit wells so then we ping it and then start hauling butt over there and then immediately Udo's like I'm gonna talk about the item shop and back and we were like what are you doing and then he's like do 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 and then we killed another person by the spirit well but they just kept coming they were like I don't know what the analogy is there but uh, they there, just kept coming there was an endless stream yes a stream was, of, of enemy shapers it was a stream of terror and then as soon as Joel showed up <laughs> on Moya and did otter things we were very sad about it yeah the otter That's things the that. uh Make it all weekend. There's a LAN Friday to Monday. So Heartless Sark, where's your LAN at? We'd love to hear about it. Send us pictures and things like that. Uh, some of us are actually going to go to a LAN party week after next, or week after this, actually, I should say, next some, week. Some of us will be there. Yeah, some of us will be there. Someone asked about the bingo board behind us. I don't know how well you can see it, but it's just kind of an inside joke. Uh, we throw a lot of buzzwords around, some of them related specifically to the MOBA genre, some of them more to production and, yeah. you know, work here at the studio. So we've just got some some good ones up there. Um, you know, everybody likes to hit up the Starbucks or the Jamba Juice, so mm -hmm. we've got we've got some buzzwords. It's uh, uh, did I do podcasts at NCSoft? I did. I did. Uh, actually, we did a City of Heroes live stream every week, uh, every Wednesday. Um, did I work with Steven Engel on uh, Warhammer? Yes. Uh, actually, Steve is a good friend of mine. Uh, working down at Carbine now on Wildstar, I believe. Whoa. Whoa. Knowledge bombs. Someone asked about uh, system requirements. We haven't released official specs. Yes. I think if you have something along the lines of uh, integrated 4000 or better, you'll be fine. You do need a dual core better. Yeah. Um, if you're running anything you know, from the last couple of years, you're going to be fine. If you're trying to play on a laptop from you know early 2000, you might have a sad. Um, but we'll release specs when we feel confident with performance. We continue to, you know, again, early beta, so we'll continue to work on specs and uh, get it to a place where we feel comfortable with our player base. Uh, Heartless Sark, Portland, Oregon. Is that the big one in Portland? I know there's an, another one, like, in November or something like that that I, I want to head to. Uh, let's see here. Ray Noni, I know him. You know, you know Stephen? What, from Ohio? Back in Ohio? Uh, I think he's from Ohio. Yeah, he's from Ohio. I can't remember if it was Lima or whatever. Anyways. Talking about something completely doing. What would you do if you had arms on your nipples? I saw that, and I wasn't going to say that. I don't know how to respond to that. I mean, you'd be basically like a little a Tyrannosaurus. Like a raptor or something? Like a raptor. Except not do at you, all cool. Do you, uh, do you know why uh, Tyrannosaurus actually went extinct? Because they... I don't... Just give me the bad joke. Inab Go ahead. Inability to use silverware. <laughs> oh, that's... That one's free. Uh, 
That one's free, sir. Hashtag free, no problem. <laughs> uh, hashtag free, no problem. That's right. Boo, boo. Uh, can you maybe tell me a little bit about the roles? Uh, so we've got we went into the roles a little bit during the stream, but you know, mm -hmm. just to recap really quickly, right now there are four roles within the Dawn Gate game. The Dawn Gate. The Dawn Gate. Within the Dawn Gate. Uh, not to be confused with Dong 8, which is... Uh, uh, I don't know anything about that. You we have the Gladiator role. Yeah. <laughs> um, that caters towards people who are focused on last hitting. Um, there's kind of a string mechanic there. So, again, it's um, all of these are relatively equal sources of income, assuming you can do them at reasonably close rates. So, mm -hmm. uh, Gladiator is focused on last hitting. Um, Tactician is focused on harassing uh, enemy shapers. Uh, the Hunter role is focused on jungling and basically doing jungle stuff and then the predator role is focused on harassing enemy spirit wells as well as getting kills and sometimes people kind of refer to the predator as a roamer uh, role yeah which is which could be accurate I mean uh, I think that's fair I think if you wanted to go with uh, let's say you wanted to do maybe more aggressive kind of a kill lane mm -hmm. uh, type of combination a uh, predator that's what lighter. we ran today we ran yeah. a Zeri I was playing as a tactician yeah. um, and I plan on doing a lot of harass with my Q and then number one feeder played predator cerulean which has that flip mechanic with the impale yeah. uh, and that Ten, I mean, we were able to get first blood on Gasty, and then we were able to, uh, you know, secure a couple of early kills. So yep. it ended up working out really well for our early game, and then, you know, things happened. Things happened. Things happened. People fed. It's okay. Uh, let's see here. Are there any mechanics you're looking forward to implement, like stealth, maybe flying, or double shape? Flying. Um, we already have one shaper who flies across the map, even. Oh, dibs. Dibs, yeah. That's fine. It is true. He can fly. He can. He hauls he butt. He believes he can fly. Anyways. Um, what is my job within Waystone besides feeding? I am the project lead slash senior uh, analyst for quality assurance. So I handle the internal and outsourced uh, teams for Dongate and make sure that when we put out a patch, it is quality. So, um, you know, making sure that there's not too many crashes. Wink, wink. We know about those. Mm hmm? We'll take care of our business, no problem. Crashes? We, we don't what have crashes? crashes? There's no crashes, just uh, features. Yeah. So we're, we're actually not crashing in the game. We're testing the reconnect feature. Yeah. <laughs> testing the reconnect feature. And you know what? The reconnect feature is working great. <laughs> A-OK. -okay. Uh, any progress towards the queuing and matchmaking system? We're always making progress towards that. Always making progress. Stay tuned, Daniel Boone. Uh, Night Killer, you never read my question. Could you talk a little bit about items? Uh, sure, actually. So the item system in Dongate is pretty unique. Uh, it is uh, actually I like it. It's very intuitive. Uh, I love so it. basically, you start off with a single basic item, and that single basic item can branch into uh, any number of uh, more advanced items, which then can also branch into any number of uh, what we call legendary items. Uh, so basically, it's kind of like the reverse of the system where you take two items and combine them into one. Mm -hmm. In this case, you're taking one item and branching away from that. Uh, and part of that, you know, part of the, the, the crux for that is to make it a more intuitive system, uh, easy to pick up for people like right on the way, and also um, to, uh, to to kind of make it so there are less wrong choices. Right? Yeah. And you're never going to lose any stats either. So yeah. if you buy a, a life item to start, that's going to give you HP or health. Um, and then you upgrade that. You're always going to, at least at the very minimum, maintain that, and if not improve it. Similarly, right. if you get power and you build up from there and do a control and then an inevitability, you're usually going to be increasing the power, adding passives, potentially adding secondary stats as well. So mm -hmm. it's the awesome. Uh, just Friday and Saturday, I'm going to the beach. That's okay. Snake Doc, have fun at the beach. We will be back again the next week. It's okay. Day I got Star. some sun over the holiday weekend. You did? The Daystar? Nice. Did it burn? Oh, man. It was so bright. It was so bright. Warm. It hurts. It crazy. <sighs> anyway. Uh, let's see here. Someone asked about the boots. Um, so movement speed can be gained from haste as well as uh, movement speed percentage. Uh, one of the things is just you know making sure that all of your purchasing decisions are interesting. Um, not to say that boots aren't interesting, but it was a mandated, you know, kind of me mechanic within uh, other other genres out there. So we've shifted that into basically being able to make six item choices. Um, I find it to be compelling. Um, you know, play the game. Tell us what you think. Um, I got a beta key the other day, but it won't let me on, and the service is down. So follow us here on Twitch, on Twitter, on Facebook, and yep. on YouTube, and you will uh, be updated on when we are going live. You also, if you are in the beta, you'll get an email saying, hey, here's when we're going live. So if you haven't heard, um, we are live Friday and Saturday from 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific day. Daylight Time, both days. Both days, yes. Uh, and let's that's something see here. in European time. You know. Uh, 
It's uh, for European. It's twenty one hundred CEST. Boom. To six a.m. Basically six nice. o'clock CEST. Um, so will there be ranked queues or any type of ladder? You know, uh, eventually that's that kind of stuff. I'm guessing the key is used up, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it down. Goodbye, key. Bye, bye, key. Bye. Uh, we got time for a couple more questions here. It looks like. Yeah, I think ranked is inevitable. Yeah, it's um, inevitable. It's, it's something that's highly requested. Mm -hmm. um, you know, when it will when it will happen is when we have adequate player base for it, as well as you know we can implement the feature at a you know successful level that people love it. Yep. Uh, are there plans to add day more days with the servers up besides the weekend soon? Uh, so we can't put a date to it or anything along those lines. Uh, but what we can say is that, you know, uh, obviously the goal is to have the service up 24-7, 365. So uh, the, the sooner we can get there, I mean, obviously the better. Uh, but also at the same time, you know, we're not going to get there until we're ready to. And we're not going to try and rush it. Uh, you know, we want to make sure we're developing the game responsibly. So we will get there. We will, we will get there. Um, that picture is haunting me. Someone asked if uh, there's a way to categorize items, like for jungle, etc. I wouldn't say that, like... Not to knock on what you're saying, I, I wouldn't say that that's a very uh, precise way to categorize them. So if you use the filters on the left-hand side, yeah. um, it will sort it by offense, defense, and I believe utility. Um, and then it helps break down the stats from there as far as subcategories are concerned. But um, it's just because you're in the jungle doesn't mean that there's a specific subset of items for you. It try, we try to make it so that it, it, it's... Uh, any item would be good on any shaper in almost any role, obviously yep. with uh, efficiency rates at, at the... Yep. Uh, carbon base. what keeps us from putting the servers on 24-7 right now? Uh, so, uh, not complaining, just curious, and a perfectly legitimate question. Uh, basically, we don't have a live operations team right now. Uh, so, any time, you know, we put the servers up, it, it requires us to either be in the office or on call and monitoring stuff to make sure things don't blow up, basically. Uh, also, you know, the beta is actually not that big. We don't have that many people in it just yet, so we, we, we're not quite yeah. to the point where we can support, you know, 24-7 always on service. So, uh, and, you know, part of that has to do with giving you guys, the players, a, a good gameplay experience, meaning, you know, that you're not waiting a queue for forever and things yeah. like that. Someone asked about active items. Um, right now, uh, all items have uh, passives to them. None of them have actives. And then we've essentially shifted those active types to something like maybe a stasis, for example. We've put that in the spell system. Mm -hmm. um, so if you haven't checked it out, um, you know, there's more information on, uh, what is it, uh, MOBA dash champion. You can check out all the items that are there yep. for all the passives as well as what the spells are. Get a really good idea of what's available in the game. Yep. Uh, will all shapers be available for players? So guys, we're not really talking about business model right now. Uh, the main reason is, is we're still working on that. We're still trying to figure that stuff out. Uh, and again, you know, kind of sounded like a broken record here, but it's 100% true. We are 100% focused on gameplay at the moment. So uh, yeah. gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. And we'll get to that point where we're talking about the business model, you know. Uh, it'll be here before you know it, uh, you know, so. Uh, good question here. It won't give me a shortcut uh, for my computer for the game. What do I do? So you're probably going to want to go to your program files, x86, if you're on 64-bit, um, I think. And then mm -hmm. it's a uh, Electronic Arts Dongate. And then you want to pull the launcher. So a lot of players, I don't know who, how, who of you are out there, um, you always want to run the game with the launcher, not with the game executable. Yep. So find that launcher folder, throw that on your desktop, and then run that, and you'll patch up. But, again, you got to wait until Friday to play. Yep. Um, blah, 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 blah. Will there be items named by the community players or by the players, or is there anything that's related to the community? You know, inspiration comes from many places. Uh, we have a forum actually in the beta forums uh, mm -hmm. titled, you know, community creations kind of. So, yeah, if the community creates something that's particularly compelling or, you know, that we feel just has to be added to the game, then I don't see any reason why not. Yeah, so. there is a specific naming convention for the items yes. that has uh, deep lore, uh, you know, connotations to it. But right. I mean, that's more to more, more on that for later. Yep. Uh, at Gawa, Gatwa. Do I favor Sorry. the MOBA champion over the Dongate wiki? No, of course not. Um, I think they're both awesome. I've used both. The first one that I went to, well, MOBA champion came online a little bit earlier, so that's the one I, you know, bookmarked first and have been using. But um, mm -hmm. it's funny that I use it and I work on the game team. I have all this information available, that and yet it's all 
both that, sides put it together wonderfully. So. That that always happens though. Yeah. Like it doesn't matter what game you're on. Like, when I was on City of Heroes, we all used the uh, the, the 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 Paragon Wiki or whatever yeah. it was called and everything. So, like that that happens all the time. That, not surprising. Um, let's see here. Uh, did, 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 uh, where are we located? We're in uh, the San Francisco Bay Area in California. How big is the dev team? We're a little over 35 folks. Um, we're going to do a couple more. Uh, I stream Magic the Gathering online. Do you mind if I stream this game? Uh, no. And... Ah, oh, magic crack. Uh, Anyone is welcome to yes. stream content. Uh, I think the kind of the, the general rule is that if it's uh, available in the beta events, then you are free yes. to talk about it. Absolutely. Um, you know, we prefer that people don't go muddling in game files, although there shouldn't be anything for you to find there. But nope. uh, um, yeah, if it's in the beta, you can talk about it. Yeah, please stream it. Uh, we we have no sort of like restrictions on that. Once you're in the beta, please feel free to share it with your friends. We're we're happy to happy to see the see those. That list gets bigger every week. It um, does. I've it keeps getting bigger, and yeah. every time. Uh, and remember to, to flag yourself as playing Dongate. You can you can select that. It mm -hmm. is there. Uh, it is there. Odor. I agree. Odor. 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 Uh, so, anyways, all right. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to we're going to we're going to call it a, call it a day. I think. Someone and asked our name. That's a good way to close it. No. Uh, my name is uh, Scott Zyrulis Seymour. Yes, he's project for. project lead for QA. Yep. Uh, I'm Andy Belford, uh, the community manager for Waystone Games. So, and on that note, we're going to go ahead and call it a stream. Uh, don't forget to tune in tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock Pacific Daylight Time. We'll be back uh, with our community catch-up where we talk about what's been going on in awesome. the game and all that fun stuff. So thank you so much for tuning in, and we will see you guys uh, tomorrow morning. Bye-bye.